The Kate has truly become a catalyst for the arts to positively affect people's lives, not just on our stage, but what it also does for the local town. It meant a lot to me to be able to come back to this theater. The Kate itself is so diverse. You have all kinds of different shows, and it brings so many interesting people to the town. Oh my goodness, it's just a treasure. We're so lucky to have this place here. We're very, very pleased to have the Kate in this area, so close to home. Programming at the Cape is diverse and eclectic because we're always very conscious of building new audiences and finding entertainment and programming that people want to see. New and different things always bring new and different audiences. My name is Grace and I did the Dr. Seuss camp. I want to be an artist when I grow up. I was shy when I did my first year because I didn't know a lot of people, and now that I've done it for two years now, I'm not really shy. We are particularly proud of what the Kate brings to Old Saybrook. The Kate makes about a $1.2 million economic impact to this area annually based on our 40,000 tickets. The Kate's a fantastic neighbor. It's beautiful, it brings the arts, it brings people with a more refined palette. And I think it's more people discovering Saybrook as well. People are coming from so many other towns, not just Saybrook. I was one of the first volunteers. I started out helping people parking their cars uh, because people came into town and didn't know where the Cape was. After parking, I became an usher and shortly after being an usher, I was promoted to a house manager. I get to see people all the time coming through the door and talking with them and they come from all over the world which totally surprises me and delighted that I can be there to help them. We are ever connected to the spirit of Katherine Hepburn here at the Cade. From showing Kate films once a month to doing special events for her birthday to letting her bold personality guide much of our programming as well as creating the Spirit of Katherine Hepburn Award which allows us to highlight an individual who has many characteristics of Kate and further connect Kate back into everything that we do on a daily basis. She was very local in town. She loved people, but she also liked her privacy. I became most introduced to Katherine Hepburn through the little museum space downstairs. I got to know Katherine Hepburn as an artist, and actually we were inspired to go watch the movies afterwards. She was independent. She had, she had a great ferocity about her that I, I've always admired. She seemed to know who she was and was not willing to compromise that, who she was. If, she, if something wasn't coming to her, she would go out and create something, which what she did in the Philadelphia story. I, I'm such a huge fan of Katherine Hepburn's work that I always knew if I had a girl, I would name her Katherine, spelled that way, K-A-G-H-A-R-I-N-E. And I'll tell you, when I finally did have a girl after two boys, Katherine Hepburn sent me a note when she heard and one of the things she said was, poor girl, that A, well, at least it'll teach her to fight. <laughs> With our board, we're continually working to improve the patron experience here at the Cape. Most recently through our sound and vision campaign, we installed surround sound into the theater for everything from the Met operas to our new Monday movie series. What's been really incredible is seeing the, the very local audience that comes to these films, watching those parents bring their children, and now it's a family event, and they get to share it together here at the Cape. The arts are very important, I think, as educators, we realize how important it is even to be exposed to the arts. These people are just really, really fun, interesting people that, that come to the Cape. It's just a treasure here in Old Saybrook. I don't know what else to say. I've lived here all my life. So it gets better all the time.